morning traders. Well, a significantly softer than expected PPI print, which confirmed Wednesday's CPI. Uh, saw a green light for risk on in Thursday's session and saw a broad rally in all risk assets. Uh, all major US indexes performed strongly. Uh, tech heavy NASDAQ, which is more risk sensitive to rates, etc., outperformed while the S&P 500 closed at its highest level since uh, February this year. The March producer price index is a measure of uh, prices paid by companies. It's often a leading indicator of consumer inflation. Uh, it declined by 0.5% month over month against an expectation that it would remain flat. So that was coupled with a weaker than expected employment figure um, with unemployment claims rising by 239,000 versus an expected 233,000. So it saw a, a broad risk on trade, uh, also boom in the Forex markets. Um, in FX, risk sensitive Aussie and Kiwi were the G10 outperformers, both seeing gains of around 1.5% against the greenback. Uh, New Zealand dollar, US dollar poked above 0 0.63. Uh, the Aussie dollar, just stop short of regaining the 68 US cent level uh, and testing the, the resistance level set earlier in the month. Uh, the Swiss Euro and Yen also gains against the US dollar to varying degrees that the USD CHF led the charge, pushing down through 89 uh, to hit its lowest level since January 2021 of around 0 0.8860. The Euro USD printed a one year high at uh, 110.67, rallying on dollar weakness and helped by ECB speak with members noting the persistence of high core inflation and stating the ECB has further to go in tightening its monetary policy. Uh, USD JPY dropped further into its range uh, before the yen ran out of its momentum, just shy of the key psychological 132 level. Uh, the pound was the underperformer uh, with the pound US. Uh, still rallied, but uh, it's largely due to the US dollar weakness. It seemed to be hampered by comments from Bank of England's pill, who noted indicators of momentum in wage growth appear to be easing. In commodities, gold was uh, a big mover, broke out of its uh, broke out on dollar weakness and falling bond yields, uh, hitting a 12-month high, and it's, it printed its fourth highest price in history, stopping just short of 2049 US dollars an ounce. Uh, it seems to be continuing its march to its all-time highs that was set back in August 2020. Crude oil declined on the day, retraced some of yesterday's gains, but still holding above that key uh, level, that resistance level that was the top of its previous range, which could act now as support. So we'll see if uh, it drops down there, if that happens. In, uh, so today, Friday's economic calendar, there's some more risk events out of the US. Uh, retail sales and consumer sentiment will be released.